Hello, my name is Megan Jones and I'm in the Developmental Science PhD program. When I was four, I watched my older sister suffer from anorexia. I wish this wasn't common, but as of 2011, 20 million women and 10 million men suffered from eating disorders in the United States. This doesn't account for the millions of other people who suffer from disordered eating, which means that they struggle with things such as skipping meals, but they aren't clinically diagnosable yet. But these people aren't just numbers, they're my sister, our family, and our friends. And the consequences of eating disorders can be as severe as heart failure and death, so clearly something needs to change. Disordered eating habits start early, though. Uh, in my past research, I've had girls as young as four tell me about the diets they've already been on. And while there are a lot of factors that lead to disordered eating, I look at what parents can do to help their children live healthily. So in a past paper with my advisor, I wanted to know with her, does maternal or paternal warmth lead to girls' desire to be thin? Or is there a third variable, parental pressure to be thin, that really explains the relationship? So parents who are high in warmth are responsive to their children's thoughts and emotions. And parental pressure to be thin describes messages that parents send about losing weight that can encourage a preoccupation with thinness. So what we found was that when you account for the effect of parental pressure to be thin, there's no longer a direct relationship between maternal or paternal warmth and girls' desire to be thinner. So on my slide, the first is not true, but the second diagram is true. High maternal or paternal warmth leads to low pressure to be thin, which then leads to less desire to be thin in girls. But I wanted to know what happens when you look at the combined effect of parents instead of looking at them separately. So my thesis involved 134 girls in grades 7 through 12. I labeled each parent as either high, average, or low in warmth, and then when possible I matched parents to see if they had the same level of warmth as one another or different levels of warmth. I then tested three models. In the first model, I just included all of the parents, and I had the same results that I did in my first study. In the second model, I included parents who had different levels of warmth, and I found that there didn't even seem to be a relationship anymore between high or low warmth and girls' desire to be thin. Then, in the third and most important model, I tested parents who had the same levels of warmth, and what we found that there is still that relationship with low parental pressure to be thin that we've seen before, but there's now a direct relationship between parental warmth and girls' desire to be thin. So the higher that both parents are in warmth, the lower desire to be thin girls have. So what this means in terms of prevention is that if we can encourage both parents to be high in warmth, we can give children barriers against disordered eating. That, along with other prevention techniques, can let our children lead healthy lives. Thank you.